So last night I was working on the new buggy I got. This is a Techno EB48 2.0. And uh, I picked it up last Monday, so I've had it for a week now. Basically it took me all week to put together, but I ran it on the weekend a couple times. Uh, but the screw came loose for my servo horn here. And when I went to go take it off, the screw ended up stripping out the end because uh, I didn't have my good bits with me at the track. And so today brought it into work where I actually have all the drill bits and drilled out the head of the bolt so I can actually just pull this off, which left me with just the bottom of the bolt here, just a very little tiny, you know, threaded part. But that's what's nice about this extractor set that I got. And it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it there better. But it has little threads on the end, so when you go in reverse, it will actually grab it and then pull it right out. So I got lucky. You can kind of see there where I drilled down inside. Not very far, I just need to get a couple threads because it's this wasn't Loctited or anything. But like I was saying, I couldn't get it with pliers because there's only probably about where my nail's sticking up. Just that much showing. So drilled inside and then just basically Get the little bit and get it in there like that and it grabs pulls it right out so just making a little video here about strip screws so far this little kit has helped me remove two screws that have been broken uh, but so far this has been the most important one because if you could not get that out then you would be buying a whole nother servo and the servo i just spent 110 bucks on it i think it was so i only ran it two days so that would have sucked if I had to replace the servo because of a screw being stuck all the way in there. So it's a little heads up for anyone that has um, stri uh, stripped screw heads or even broken off the whole head completely and there's just this little threaded part back in the bottom. Um, you basically are definitely going to need an uh, extractor kit like this. So this does lots of sizes. I mean, there's definitely, that's one of the smallest ones in here. Uh, actually, yeah, I think that is the smallest one because this one was still a little tiny bit bigger and then they go down all the way to, you know, pretty big size here. So these little bits, they come with like a little drill end on it, um, basically garbage. So that's kind of why I had to bring it into work where I had all my drill bits, but I mostly just bought this just for these extractors themselves. So yeah. And I think it was like 13 bucks or so. I got it on Amazon. I can't remember uh, um, which person sold it, but definitely paid itself off right here. Even if I only needed it to ever just take out that one screw. Huge difference. So I'll make a video all about this car uh, coming up just because uh, I was having way too much fun driving it at the track. And yeah, I got some some couple little parts coming for it uh, I might be doing like titanium turnbuckles some stuff to also help with the weight but man this thing is so much fun at the track um, yeah I'll have to shoot some video maybe I'll stop by during the week after I get it back together make sure everything works good for the weekend but yeah maybe on the weekend I'll film some uh, actual racing uh, that we do at the track so thanks for watching